back to the Haunted Mansion Tournament. Expert Division opening round, hole number one, option number two. This is a Kingmaker shot. APOC 4 plus Thorn backspin. Uh, the adjustment for the drive is P3 plus 10% max. We're using 5 top spin, 3 left spin. So we're setting up at P3 max rest. Uh, APOC 5 and 6. APOC 5 and 6, you'll have two thirds of the clear ring. In the right rough at P3 max rest. APOC 7 is one third of the clear ring in the right rough. And an APOC 8 is clear ring touching like you see here. All at P3 max rest. If you're playing this shot with APOC 4. Or extra mile 7. What you're going to want to do. Is use a P4 ball. And set up at the top of the plus 22. And you can use the same spins. Same adjustment. It's no overpower, no curl. So with spins added. What I want you to, if you have APOC 4 or extra mile 7. What I'm looking at is this ball guide. If you turn and you and you line up with your ball guide straight, you're going to miss this corner of this rough by about a ring to the right. I didn't I didn't line it up here. But when I if you turn and you and you get in line with that ball guide, you should be missing the rough by about one ring. So if you're setting up with an APOC 4 or the EM7, add your spins, start at the top of the plus 22, line up your ball guide to make sure you're missing that rough by about a ring. And that should put you right where you want to be. Then the only other thing you have to do is pull straight hit perfect. We're, we're looking for around 382 to 385 on this drive. Again, no overpower, no curl. And this is going to put us right around Men Thorn for our approach shot. So for the Thorn shot, the adjustment is P3 plus 25% elevation. At slider, what we're going to do is we're going to find our men thorn first. So I'm going to find men thorn. Then I'm going to add max backspin only. Right? Then once I've done that, I'm going to count rings for men. Until the tip of my ball guide is touching the left edge of the cup around center cup. Max backspin only. So I'm counting rings up for men here. And this is what you want it to look like when you're done. It's important that you have the tip of the ball guide in the same place every time or else you're going to get different rollouts. But if you look, the tip of the ball guide should be about in line with, with the center of the cup and then just touching the left edge of the cup. Now, I'm like a click off to the left here. But that's okay. It's still fine, you know, as long as you're, you know, right next to it or right touching it. But most importantly, make sure that the tip of the ball guide is finishing here. That's with a Thorn 9. So if you have a Thorn 8, you know you're going to have a little bit less ball guide. So the tip of the ball guide for a Thorn 8 should finish even with the top of the cup and then in line with the left edge of the cup for a Thorn 8 because you got a little bit less ball guide, right?
Uh, other than that, pull straight. Hit perfect. You should be good to go. Now, I haven't gotten a short rollout on this drive. It's worked fine every time for me. But what I would recommend, based off of experience here, if you do happen to catch a short rollout, and you have to count more than 15 rings for men, I would recommend that you add 0 0.2 to whatever adjustment you come up with, right? Still play it 1% per ring counted, right? But if it's 20 rings for men and not 8 or 9, then you're obviously further into your club. You're going to get more wind push. So to counter that, anything over 15 rings, I would recommend adding 0.2 to your adjustment like i said i haven't had that happen but on the off chance that it does that's what i would do and that's what i would recommend you do beyond that really good shot here using the uh the backspin so free to play kingmaker shot great chance for an eagle good luck everyone i hope you all get the drop and we'll catch you on the next hole Oh, by the way, five top three left on the drive. Okay.